Thanks for joining us today at Mike's Archery. We're checking out the new 2019 Hoyt lineup, and we got these in on Friday. We're taking a look at them here over the weekend and uh, doing some specs and, and reviews on them, just kind of getting a feel for what the new lineup looks like. So uh, this is the new Helix, and this is the new bow that they came out with in their aluminum top end line. Uh, the specs on this thing, just kind of give you the, the basic rundown, 342 feet per second, 30 and a half inch axle to axle on it, uh, six inch brace height and then it's uh, coming in at 4.9 pounds on this bow uh, they did do some revisions from uh, last year's or the last several years bows upgraded some things uh, their new hole shot uh, string dampeners that they've come up with uh, to take that extra vibration out of their string uh, they still got the uh, similar cable system to last year but they did away with the barrel uh, went to this little uh, I don't know what you want to call that but uh, the little house shaped thing there to split the cables so those are some little changes that they made to them. Obviously the new uh, riser dampeners and uh, to take some shock out of the riser and things. They did widen the stance on the bows this year just a little bit. Uh, you can see that in both the RX3 and in this uh, new Helix. So it gives it that wider stance that they uh, didn't have last year. Kind of gives it a little more balance, a little more rigidity and uh, stabilization in the shot. So not a ton of changes on the aluminum riser. These are coming in at 1100 bucks for this year is uh, full map retail on them. Uh, but overall, great looking bow. We're gonna uh, take it outside here and probably shoot a few shots through it, see what we think of this thing and uh, see how it performs and how it feels. So we brought the bows outside. We've been taking a few shots with them. And uh, this is the Helix from Hoyt, the new 2019 Helix. and. Uh, to be honest, we've been shooting both bows here, so we've been shooting the carbon and, and the helix, trying to get a feel for them and just see what uh, the major differences are. Obviously, the weight, you can tell the difference right off the bat. Uh, where this one was 4.3 pounds and the carbon was 3.9, you can feel it. When you pick it up, uh, if you're a, a fan of that really light bow, then th you're going to feel the difference when you pick this bow up. But on the flip side of that, that extra weight in that bow is going to give it a better stable shot. Uh, it's going to probably sit a little bit better in your hand. Uh, it's not going to have as much jump, uh, but I'll be honest, that, that carbon bow had a really good feel and, and very little to no hand shock. So the uh, the Helix does have a little more hand shock than the carbon did. You can feel it. Uh, that, that carbon was dead as could be in your hand. Uh, but the Helix has got a little bit of vibration. You can feel it in that in that shot. So uh, those are the two major things that I noticed. The, the rollover on the cam on this bow, uh, it's a little bit smoother on the carbon bow and and it takes a little more punch to get this one over the top and uh, and to sit with it but overall still a great bow uh, Hoyt's always made a fantastic bow and this bow is no exception to that rule and uh, it's going to be a great shooting bow um, but I think the difference between the two you're going to feel the weight difference you're going to feel a little bit more hand shock out of this bow um, aesthetically looks really good uh, I think I mentioned it earlier, not a lot of changes from last year's look and, and feel. Uh, but overall, again, ton of colors. This is the QU Verde, if you haven't seen it. But uh, they're offering it in a, a, just a whole slew of colors on there. And uh, So pick the one out that, that makes sense to you. Uh, at 1100 bucks, this bow is uh, going to be one of the top-end bows for the year, and, and I'm sure going to be one of those top-end competing bows with everybody's top lineup stuff. So check this one out. Give us a call at Mike's Archer, and we will get you set up with one.